Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Perfect. Hey, everyone. Donovan Brown here with another video in the Desired State Configuration series. Today, we are going to create a custom resource. In the Hello World DSC video, we use the script resource to simply print Hello World to the screen. In this video, we are going to package that functionality into a custom resource that can print any message. To make our lives easier, we're going to use the DSC resource designer we installed in the previous video. I will also show you how to install your resource and finally use it in a configuration. To begin, start Windows PowerShell ISC as administrator. I would suggest working in your home directory, which you can reach by typing cd tilde and press enter. When creating a custom resource, you first define the properties users of your resource will be able to set. In our example, we will have a single property called msg to hold the message. We are going to use the new x dsc property commandlet to create our msg property. Each resource must have at least one key property, so we will add an attribute value to mark msg as the key. With our property defined, we can now create our resource using the new xdsc resource commandlet. This commandlet will create the necessary files and folder structure for our resource. We are going to take a shortcut by instructing the commandlet to save our files into one of the module folders for DSC. By placing our files there, our resource will be ready to use. If you decide to save your files somewhere else, you will have to copy them to this folder before you will be able to use them in a configuration. Now press F5 to execute our script. With all the files created, let's modify the template file created for us to implement our resource. For our resource, we can skip the get target resource function. For the set target resource function, we are simply going to use the write verbose commandlet to display the value in msg. Remember from the hello world video that the test target resource function should return true when the state of the resource is set and false when it is not. For this example, we are always going to return false, so our set target resource function is called. I want to take a moment and point out that you would never create a resource that always returned false from the test script. We are only doing this for demonstration purposes. If you can't test if the resource needs to be executed or not, I doubt the functionality needs to be in a resource. You are probably better off with a simple PowerShell script. Now save the file and open a new script file so that we can create our configuration. This configuration will be very similar to the Hello World configuration. Before we can use our custom resource, we have to import it. Once the resource has been imported, we can now use it in our configuration. We only have to set the msg property. As you can see, this is much easier than using the script resource we used in the Hello World video. As with all configurations, we must call it to create a MOF file, and then call start DSC configuration to push the changes to the node. Now press F5 to run our script. Notice we were able to print Hello World. Now let's change the MSG property to Buy World and run it again. Notice Buy World in the output. I hope you enjoyed creating your first custom resource. Until next time, I'm Donovan Brown.